Morning my fellow friends on planet Earth. Today we're taking the AMG to the yard and we're doing two modifications to it. I'm not gonna tell you what they are before we get there. So let's jump inside the bad boy. Let's weather up and let's get her on the ramps down at the yard. Cause this is a big one today. This is a big one. Yes guys, we have now arrived at the yard. First modification that we are gonna be doing today is to fit lowering springs onto the AMG GTS. I've got them right here. Let me go and grab them. Got the H&R Performance Lowering Springs. I bought them off Euro car parts. They were 280 pounds plus VAT, which was about 350 pounds. And they, I've seen a few videos on YouTube. This was why I bought them. I was gonna fit a coilover kit on it, but I don't need to, because I can just put lowering springs and these take about an inch off of the height. Because if you come over here, we've got at the minute, three fingers on the rear wheel and the wheels aren't straight at the front, but it's about three on the front as well. So with an inch off of that, it should fit pretty flush to the top of the tire, which is my desired ride height. Because at the minute, I do think it does just sit a little bit high for a supercar. But whilst the car is on the ramp, I've also got a spoiler, which I've had for about two months now. Paid 800 pounds for it. Let's get the AMG GTS put onto the ramps. So we're going to start by putting the front on and then we're going to go to the back. Here is the spoiler that I was talking about. When it came, it actually came unpainted and I had to get it painted myself, which I was slightly disappointed with. I paid £800 for this small bit of plastic, literally weighs nothing and it didn't even come painted, mate, taking a piss. It turns a little bit, doesn't it? We've stumbled at the first hurdle. We can't even get the wheels off. There's a special tool that Mercedes have to get the center cap of the wheels off. This yeah. one over here just popped off. This one just fell off here. We really didn't Literally. take the center cap off. I've got the machine here for it. Got it. I got it. Yeah. This is the bad boy right here. This is the tool, right? You need a spanner on it. That machine, machine, it's a bit of plastic, mate. What the fuck am I talking about? Slots onto this section here, and then you have literally got a spanner you can turn to get it off. Quite a clever design, but it'd also be an absolute nightmare if you broke down on the side of the road and that little plastic thing wasn't in the car. You'd, you'd have no chance of putting a spare on it, but... But you would always have it in the car with you. You would do, but if in the case you didn't have one with you. Yeah, old. I did. Jesus fucking Christ. See that top the back one just fell off then. You try the back one to that side. Can you hold it down again? It's just dripping at all, isn't it? At this point right here, I started to realise that this wasn't happening today. No! The tool was stripping the fucking machine that I keep calling a machine, which isn't a machine. We had to call it a day with the suspension and order a new tool, which I'm still waiting on the delivery because it has to come from Germany because Mercedes are just... Oh, don't want to talk about it, man. But the suspension will be coming soon onto the wing. I was going to say, you're not going to break the clip. So guys, if you look under here, this is the motor that powers the electric flap on the back spoiler, whatever you want to call it. I believe we've got to take this motor out because once we put the rear wing on, we don't want that motor causing flap to go up and down when we're driving because it automatically comes on at 70 miles an hour and uh, it'll look very, very stupid if that's flipping up and down and it could also damage the wrap. So that's got to come off. There's two bolts on that there. There's actually a YouTube video of someone who put one on and they'd done a, a tutorial. So I'm gonna go to my best friend YouTube. I'll be back in a moment. So we're back uh, trying to get the, <coughs> basically this top plate above me here. There's about 30 little screws or bolts, whatever you wanna call them with ends on them like that. And they all undo, which then allows us to lift this whole plate up with the motor on and everything. We can get that off and then we can attach the spoiler and then just reattach it like this. It should be pretty easy, so I'm not gonna film all of this. It's a bit painful, but oh no. But yeah, there's a lot of bolts to get undone. So we've got it all undone now. With any luck, 
we should just be able to pull this little panel off. So the wires and there's some wires, yeah. Just here. They'll pull it off the top. That's it. You got it. And there's another one of them that side. <laughs> That's it. I'll, uh, you can pull that off. Oh, that definitely come off that for Broken. I don't know. It's like pulled off. Well then, look at that, guys. That was easy. Peasy lemon squeezy. I'm gonna get the heat gun out and reattach it because look, you can see the wrap is just peeling off from here, look. That is really crap. It's bad, isn't it? Bad, isn't it? But I'm get getting anywhere by slagging anyone off yeah. Can you grab the heat gun? Yeah. We'll, uh, we'll do that before we get any further. For that. We're just gonna heat that up and stick it back down because it looks terrible. How hot is that? Because you know about wrapping. Uh, First set or second, that's the second setting. That'd be nice. You don't want it too, bro. You hold it, I'll, uh, I'll do the heat room. You hold that there, let's just see what it looks like. I haven't actually explained the strategy we were using to put the spoiler on, but in a nutshell, we were measuring the distance from one side of the rear flap to the other, then measuring the distance of the spoiler, working out where it needs to be in correlation to the edges. We then used sticky tape, which we put on the bottom, which we then secured down with more sticky tape and then drilled the holes like that. Yes, I know it's not the best method to use, but it worked last time, so fuck it, why not? Oh, it does look so good. Holes aren't big enough, well done. Well done, us. Can't believe it is. You just need to make the hole slightly bigger or wiggle the drill around a bit. You know? They're nearly there, aren't they? Look. They far out in? Not far out at all, mate. Get yours, because I have to bend it slightly out. Like that a little bit. Guys, we have got the, oh, how do you like me now? We've got the spoiler on, pretty much ready to go back on the car. So let's get it reassembled and uh, get it put back together, come on! Guys, that is all for today. Thank you for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, make sure you subscribe. Two videos dropping this week. See you again Wednesday night. Bush.